Today, I want to talk about how to set up your default page in Inkscape. This is the page that opens by default every time you open Inkscape. So when Inkscape is first installed, this is what you see as your default page. There's no grid and the background is translucent. By that, I mean if we go to File, Document Properties, we can see the background um, is, this is set to zero at the bottom, so the background is completely translucent. What this means, if you just leave it like this, and let's say we draw a square, and then we exported this as our image, and you sent it to someone as your schematic, this is what they would see. The background in, on my screen, in my computer, it shows up as gray, um, and others, when I used to open these in Ubuntu, it would have a, like a checkered background. Basically what it means is it's translucent. If you then opened this image into pages or into a Word document, and then it would take on the white background of the Word document, or if the document was colored, it would take on the colored background. So that's quite useful for doing other things than schematics. But if I'm sending my schematic to a publisher, to a client, I want them to open it and to see a white background. So I need to change my default page in Inkscape because I will always forget to set it manually every time. So we're going to get rid of this square. The properties that I want, because every time I open Inkscape, I'm pretty much always going to be making a schematic. Not always, not 100% of the time, but pretty much every time I'm making a schematic. So I want my default to be ready to go. So in document properties, I want my background to be completely solid. So you, what I just did then is you can drag these arrows, but you can also type in 255. Okay, so um, the background is completely opaque now. And the other thing that I find useful is to have a grid. Um, so rectangular grid, new, and you can change your grid units to anything you want. Um, if you like to make schematics true to scale, then it helps to use a measurement. So if I normally work in centimeters, then I might have each grid represents um, a quarter of a centimeter, or you can equally do quarter of inches. That's completely personal. Um, yeah, so you can pick your unit to be however you want, but I just like to have there be a grid. So we'll close that. So now we have a white background and a grid. This is for me the default that I want. To get this to be your default, you have to save, go file, save as, and you have to go find your Inkscape folder. So for me, it's applications, then there's a folder called Inkscape app, then there's a folder called contents, resources, and the, the last one that you're looking for is this templates. And you can see, these are all the templates that come in Inkscape and the one that opens every time you open Inkscape is this default.svg. So if you can find this templates folder, you save it as default.svg. And then for me, it, it will say a file already exists. We want to replace it. And now if I close Inkscape, And I'm going to open it back up. You can see this is now my default. Now, if you easily wanted to get back to the normal default, you could just pick a different. So if I just picked A4, then I'm going to get back the no grid and the transparent background. So it's not like you can't, obviously you could also go document properties, grids, and you can remove the grid. 
and then you could go page and change the background to transparent and that would get us back to our original state. So I hope that helps you understand how to make the page that opens an Inkscape be suitable for how you're going to work most of the time. I'm Jolie from Jolie's Kitchen. Um, you can find my site at www.joliskitchen.com for more tutorials. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.